Hello everyone, this is a little video because uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Cyber Hunter on Steam lately. It's a mobile game that's been ported to Steam and the port job isn't perfect. So uh, I thought I'd do a little informational video on how to get it uh, looking better and running better. So first things first is you want to go into your NVIDIA settings. If you have AMD, I'm sure it looks something similar. Um, and then find client.exe. If you don't have it, just click add and it should pop up pretty easily if you've played the game at least once. Um, yeah, make sure you manage 3D settings, all of this stuff. Then what I've done is I've added an isotropic filtering to 16, AA to override and 8 times. Low latency I put to ultra, um, MFAA on, you know, forcing it on, 1080i, maximum performance, highest available refresh rate. Um, you know, sampling option is off, negative LOD, you know, basically I've done a little bit with it just um, to try and get it to work better, and this seems to work for me. Um, after doing these, the game seemed to look a lot better and have a lot less uh, pop-in and a lot less, um, you know, just random, I don't know, just, just horrible looking like jagged edges and the like. This This seemed to make it look a bit better. So, um, yeah, I did all of that, and then what you want to do is you want to move into the Cyber Hunter, uh, you want to move in. Um, basically, it says uh, this PC, um, and you just go to Steam Apps, Common, Cyber Hunter, there it is, nice and easy, um, where most of it is, and you want to go to the config.ini. Now, this may look different to some people, but this is the way that mine looked, and all I've done is add F under graphic setting FPS underscore level underscore PC equals four. Uh, basically, that takes the frame rate from a locked 60 to a locked 88, which makes the game run a lot better. Um, if you're thinking you can go higher to unlock the frame rate further, you you can't. I've tried. I tried all the way up to 10, and each time it would just tank my frame rate right back down to about like 20 frames a second. So four seems to be the sweet spot. Um, so it looks like 3 is probably 60, and then 2 is 30, and then 1, 15, probably like that. But yeah, I added that line, and then I also just decided to, you know, put equals 1 for the season discount, as noticed. I mean, um, I bought the passport like a dum-dum. I haven't had a chance to actually test whether if you put equals 1 on the passport, it actually unlocks it for you. But you might as well give it a go and uh, see if it works for you. Um, if it does, please feel free to let me know. Then I can save myself some money next time. But um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And then you've got all the other settings that you can change, all your sensitivities in here. Um, you can, like, scope sensitivities, vehicle settings, auto run, auto open doors, rather than going into the game to do it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically what it is. Um, and what I've done is, uh, it, it's basically jumped my game up to 88 frames, made it run a lot better. Um, as I said before, the pop-in isn't as bad, it actually looks nicer. Um, and it looks more like... Well, it looks more like a PC game, not a high-quality one, but at least it looks and feels like one now, rather than the mobile port it is. So, um, yeah, I hope these settings uh, helped you out. Um, so, thank you for joining me in this little informational video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Also, if you want to add me as a friend on uh, Cyber Hunter, that's more than ha I'm more than happy for that, and we'll have a blast. So, yeah, catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.